Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how to use the Rich Content Editor. We use the Rich Content Editor to produce our information in both content pages and all content pages, quizzes, discussions, and assignments. That's where we put our actual information into it and we can modify it so that the children, the students can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the page we want to go to and we click edit. And the first thing you see is this empty box with the cursor in it and then all of these icons. This can also be changed into an HTML content editor. If you know HTML, you can punch the code in here and it behaves in the same way. But most of us only know regular typing, so we're going to use the rich content editor. So in here, what we can do is we can add our text. We can then modify our text, bold, italicized, underline. We can change the color. Change the color back. We can change the background color. Change it back. We can clear all of the formatting that we've done. We can align it in different ways. Center, justified, different types of indents. We can create subscripts, superscripts, bullets. We can create tables within here. This is a little bit more advanced. If you would like information about creating tables, um, we can do that at a later date. We can insert media or edit media this way. We can create hyperlinks. So if you've got a link you want your students to go to, we can link and type in google.com. Now that that's been lit up, this is now a hyperlink. And if the children, the students click on it, it's going to take them to Google. You can do that with any particular links. We can get rid of links through the remove links. We can embed images. There's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, this is one way of embedding images. I'll show you another way. We can insert math equations. We can build graphs. We have public collections. We've got external tools. We can record and upload media into it. We can do right to left. We can change our font sizes. We can change the way our paragraph is formatted. And finally, we can check the accessibility of the course to make sure all of our, our students can read it. If you want to add a picture in, what we do is we go over to images. We look for our new image. Choose file. I'm just going to pick this random image. Normally, if it's an academic image, we would put in some alt text. So I'll say random image so that a screen reader would be able to pick that up and tell the students what that image actually is. Or if it's just a decorative image, you can put the check mark in for decorative image. Then we're going to click upload. And wherever your cursor was, that's where your image is going to go. You can resize the image and change it. And then once you're ready to go, you click save. And in our page, we now have our information exactly the way we set it up. If you have any questions, please let me know.